Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Garrett from Code the Web, and in this video, actually this series I should say, we're gonna be going over WordPress and its greatness. You're gonna learn everything from the dashboard and the installation process, which is what we're gonna be going over today, to things like posts, settings, themes, plugins, all that great stuff. By the end of this series, you're gonna be able to install, run, and manage a successful WordPress website. So what is WordPress, and maybe more importantly, what is it capable of? WordPress was originally created to be a blogging platform similar to Tumblr and Blogger. Since then, however, it has become so much more and is now a common choice for many businesses, web designers, and web developers to use for their websites. There are over 75 million WordPress-run websites on the internet. In addition, WordPress has been translated into 40 different languages. Also, around 20-25% to 25 of all websites on the internet today use WordPress. In fact, you've probably used a WordPress website and never knew it. WordPress only actually employs around 220 to 240 employees, so they are always on their heels. And also, there are over 30,000 WordPress plugins, meaning that the limitations of WordPress are only that of your imagination. Provided the plugins and themes are available, or you have the ability to custom build the necessary plugins you will need, WordPress can pretty much handle it all and do whatever you need it to. If you'd like to see some of the many things this platform is capable of, head on over to WordPress.org and check out the showcase they have over there. While that's not nearly everything WordPress can do, it will give you a good idea of what it is capable of. WordPress, for the most part, is divided into two parts. There is WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.com is the business revenue driving side of WordPress. People who don't have their own hosting can use WordPress.com to host their websites either for free, for example, they would have a subdomain like codetheweb.wordpress.com, or they can pay for it, which is how they make money, of course, and they can get a custom domain along with hosting for their WordPress website. WordPress.org, on the other hand, is the open source part of the project. If you already have your own hosting or plan on just installing it on your local computer, then head on over to WordPress.org and download all the source code for free and install it on your server. This is actually, in my opinion, the best option as it provides the most robust, versatile, and most capable version of WordPress. Also, for the sake of this series, this is exactly what we will be doing, uh, installing from WordPress.org, downloading and installing on our server. If you want to build a website that is very capable and has the ability to become more or less whatever you want it to be, then WordPress may very well be for you. In addition, if you want to build a dynamic and functional website but are not a web developer or don't have the time to develop your own platform, again, WordPress might be a great option for you. It is worth noting, however, that WordPress is not without its faults. Many people will argue that WordPress is not scalable and is best for small to medium-sized websites, both traffic and content-wise. While they may have reason to say this, in my experience, if you maintain your website properly, have the best hosting that you can possibly get, and take necessary measures to optimize WordPress, which we will address in this series as well as future videos, then WordPress will be able to handle anything. There are WordPress websites that have large amounts of content and receive upwards of 20 million plus visitors per day. With that said, let's get started and dive into the awesomeness that is WordPress everyone, so now that we've gone through the introduction of what exactly WordPress is and what it can do, let's take a look at how to actually go about installing WordPress, and we're going to take a look at the dashboard today as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to WordPress.org. I will post a link in the description, and we're going to hit, actually, let me just make sure there's the homepage. It is. We're going to hit download. There are two ways you can do that. There's a download button up top that says download WordPress, and then you can also hit the download WordPress 4.4, which is, as of this recording, the latest version of WordPress. And then once you do that, you're going to be brought to a page that gives you kind of a list, a little bit of instructions as to what you can do. We're going to hit the download again, and it's going to download the zip file that contains all of the stuff that we need. So we're going to open up that zip. If you're using a PC, it'll probably say, I believe, like decompress or something along those lines. And then once you do that, we're going to get a folder, the WordPress folder. And if you open it up, you're going to see all of these files in it and a few folders that have a lot more files in it. So what we're going to do is go on over to your uh, whatever uh, editor you're using or FTP client you're using and we're going to go to where I would like to uh, upload this and we're going to select all of these files and we are going to drag them in to our website. And I'm going to skip ahead if this takes too long. Oh, yes, it's going to take a while. So 
I'll be right back after this is done uh, uploading, and then we're going to continue with uh, what we're going to talk about. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the website that you want to use for uh, for this this website for WordPress. So in this case, we're going to be using iCodeTheWeb.com, and we're not actually going to go to the regular iCodeTheWeb.com because that would just be blank. You have to be an admin to use the admin side of WordPress logically. So we're going to type in wp-admin, and that is the admin side of WordPress. Now it's going to present us with the languages that we can select. We're going to go with English. And then you have to know your database name, the database username, password, host, and table prefix, which we don't actually have to worry about, but you could if you wanted to. The database name is learn WordPress. I actually have everything right here. So it is oh, it's not just learn WordPress. It is that the username. And we're going to X that out is going to be code. And then I'm going to black the uh, the password out, but it is that. And then nothing else needs to be changed. We will not save the password, at least right now. And now everything did go through correctly. So if you didn't get that done correctly, if you didn't use the right name or something like that, then it would give you an error and say, try again. These are what the issues might ha may have been. But in this case, uh, it did work. So we're going to hit run install. And now this right here. Uh, is just going to be setting up WordPress. Uh, that's pretty much what this is doing. So we need a site title. We're going to say code the web. And our username is going to be admin. Our password, which I will black out. Um, confirm use of weak password. Yes, that's okay. My email is going to be Garrett at icodetheweb.com and then we do not want to discourage search engines from indexing this site this has to do with e uh, SEO so if you want to have good SEO you probably don't want to discourage search, discourage search engines from looking at your website or indexing it for their searching purposes we're going to hit install WordPress and done we are ready to go let's hit login and let's take a look at the WordPress dashboard so admin and the password that I made before will hit remember me update password and here we go we are inside WordPress let's take a look at the dashboard which is the first thing you will always be presented with when you learn log into WordPress you can just go ahead by clicking on the dashboard along the side really quick just a tour of kind of what's going on here just the basic gist of the layout of WordPress admin uh, let's also look at icodetheweb.com. I think we didn't choose a theme yet or something, or we will see, or maybe. Um, Index.html, maybe. Is that is that what's going on here? Ah, there we go. Okay, so what happened was inside of the files on the uh, website, we still had an index.html. If you're getting a blank screen, look on over at your files. You're going what's going on inside of the website there and delete index.html. Make sure you have index.php, which was provided by WordPress when we downloaded the package. And it should bring you to this, which is exactly what you want to see. So let's head on back over to the dashboard. Quick tour of what's going on. This is the toolbar up top. Uh, this is pretty personally I don't really use it actually the only time I ever use it is when I want to click on the site title to hit visit site but we're not gonna do that now uh, this is just admin edit my profile log out and then there's other stuff these are updates so we have one update available this is a new post new media new page new user just some quick links and this is a logo that will take you to about WordPress which we don't need um, we want however now this part right down here is all of the stuff that you'll be living in this is where you will be in this bit here this is kind of like the navigation so we have dashboard posts media pages comments appearance plugins users tools settings things like that we're gonna go over all that other stuff later on in this series but for now let's just take a look at the dashboard so what we have going on here is it is welcoming you to WordPress because this is the first time that you're seeing this so there's going to be that. And then you have at a glance. So this is just going to talk about what's going on on your website 
you know, really quick statistics. We have one post, we have one comment, we have one page. We didn't post any of those things, actually. WordPress does post a sample page, a sample post, and a sample comment for you. So you can see how those things interact and what they are when you first start up WordPress. And also it's telling you the version of WordPress right here and what theme you are running, which is 2016 WordPress. Actually, uh, the people that develop WordPress come out with a new theme every year. Um, so, and it's always called what year it is. So like this is obviously 2016, last year was 2015, so on and so forth. So this theme right here, which I will not be using, definitely not, uh, is called 2016. So now you can have a quick draft. Uh, this is, I believe, a post, uh, which I don't use really ever. Actually, I don't really use the dashboard that much, to be honest. This is WordPress news, what's going on uh, in WordPress. So they'll talk about, for example, they have Merry Christmas, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. They have some other stuff. Uh, WP Tavern publishes its 30,000th comment. They have some, and they'll also, I think, talk about like WordPress releases and stuff like that. Next, we have activity, uh, which is all the comments and posts and stuff like that that are going through on your website and you can approve them or unapprove them or whatever it is. Like I said before, I don't really use the uh, the dashboard that much. Um, and up here, uh, that's just screen options. So what you're being able to see. So for example, this welcome thing that we dismissed earlier, that's what that is. WordPress news, you can take that away. So you can kind of customize what's being shown there. And I think every pretty much, I don't know about every, but a lot of the pages, a lot of the, you know, setting stuff, in the admin area have this screen options and um, so you can customize what you do and don't want to see. Also worth noting is that as you start to install plugins and themes and all that fun stuff later on, uh, you will have a dashboard area that will have a lot more stuff in it and maybe one that you might want to use. So thank you for watching guys. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at, I believe, settings. And then after that, We'll start just going down the list. I just want to look at settings because that's probably the second most important thing after you install WordPress is to go and edit all the settings so that you can kind of be set up for success going down the road. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at settings and then just kind of going down the list in order. So post media pages, comments, and so on. And that's what we'll be doing next. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, definitely subscribe. If you like the new, I don't want to say style, but kind of style, the flow, definitely let me know because I'm always open to hearing suggestions. I like to make these videos as good as they could possibly be also new facebook and twitter pages links are in the description so definitely go like code the web on facebook and follow us on twitter because yes i've said this before but i'm actually gonna start using it now so again thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video take care peace